welcome back to my channel Lissy Build. So for my last video I did a fixer upper and now I'm going to fix the fixer upper and doing this seemed like a really great idea until I realized how many wall cracks and cobwebs and like things I had to delete. Um, I didn't do too many on the outside but when you see the inside if you've not already seen the videos you'll see I went a little bit overboard. Um, I also kept the graveyards exactly where they were because I figured like you're not going to dig up a grave. Um, I think you have to actually get permission to do that in real life and um, to like relocate graves. So I was like I'll leave them exactly where they were. And um, when I did the fixer upper I tried to make the outside of the build how I would want it. I tried to use limited packs. Now this was a um, build request for Maria Brown and she always comments on my YouTube videos and watches them and she downloads my builds. So this Originally, the fixer upper, like the dilapidated, dilapidated version, had the basement for a vampire. But well, there's three brothers, adults, so a vampire, an alien, and a spellcaster. And then there's a toddler hybrid, it is a vampire alien hybrid. So I did like an old version, which pretty much was mostly um, base game and vampires. I did use the city living cabinets in the kitchen just because they're kind of run down ones. Um, and then this version is like a very nicely hopefully you will agree nicely <laughs> fixed up version so obviously the vampire's got a proper bedroom not just a coffin and they've got their own tv i put like a little chair in the corner um so i'm just throwing my cheats in here because i forgot i always forget to put my cheats in um you know for like the debug options um and then i obviously put on the base game and vampires for this room um and one of the cheats hadn't work i was looking for the remote which is in debug if you just type in remote it comes up um if you have all the packs on i think there's a couple of things that come up in there but i just had those two on it's a base game one i was trying to use candles oops sorry hiccup candles for the vampire's room though i do delete a couple of those candles i just felt it was a little bit too bright and there was too many um, i also realized when i did the walk through the candles off the bedside table disappeared I was like, I finally thought I'd got away with nothing disappearing in a build and then I was recording, well, editing all this before doing the voiceover and I realised they were gone. Um, I will check, I think I've already, no, I've already uploaded this to the gallery. Um, so it's, yeah, it's just um, Vampire Candles. Uh, if you go onto your Vampire like, package, you'll be able to find them quite quickly. Um, or you don't have to use candles at all because I have got them around the walls, you could chuck some books on there or something. So I tried to not put too much in the bedroom because I figured like even though a vampire is going to have clutter um, I wanted it to be as neat as possible because I, I didn't want to do too much with it being a bigger build. Um, I know like certain like consoles you can't have too much stuff in the builds um, so I left it a little bit less and I didn't want it to lag with the gameplay. Um, so I have some rooms that are like very cluttered and some rooms that aren't. So then going through deleting all of these cobwebs. At first I was like I'll go around the whole house and then I was like I'll do room by room. So I did like through the living room and the kitchen. And then I think I decorated the kids bedroom. I'm not sure. I think I left the kitchen itself till last. I can't quite remember. Yeah I did. I went down to the bathroom, did this bathroom and then I do the kids bedroom. We do lose a couple of the rooms in the recordings because um, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it's my laptop overheating or something's not compatible. But when I like record everything and then I go back onto um, my editing software, I find some of the videos that I've recorded are just like a black screen with just the sounds. Um, so obviously I can't use those. Luckily, the majority of the build was there. I think it was just the kids' bedroom and the alien bedroom or possibly just the alien bedroom that I lost um which we will see in a moment because I just can't quite remember so the bathroom and I think I did this one with reds yeah reds and blacks I use in this room because I was like vampire blood red obviously it's not just a vampire living here um, and I actually realized when I got to the spellcaster's bedroom that I should use obviously the realm of magic pack for it so this build is heavy with the base game, the vampires, and the realm of magic. And I think I didn't use the city living counters in this main one. There might be a few clutter items from different packs, um, but I think it is mostly just... Oh yeah, on the outside walls, on the upstairs walls, it is the snowy escape wallpaper. But if you don't have that pack, you can just throw another wallpaper on there. It won't make any difference to the build as it is just the wallpaper on that one... Um, outer layer upstairs so you can obviously easily change that not a problem um and i tried to use i think there's a chance i use parenthood in this pack 
only for like one counter in the living room. Oh no, and the pictures in the kids' bedroom. I did two pictures from Parenthood, so they're like literally the only two pictures. And uh, the rest are base game. I'm pretty sure maybe that alien robot on the wall wasn't. But that's basically it, guys. Try uh, this, this game is gonna like go this build. I'm gonna keep like, oh yeah, I only use this and I only use this, and I'm gonna keep seeing things I use. I think it has a little bit of parenthood, but I really do mean just like a little bit, like three things in that kid's bedroom on the walls, and then um yeah, a counter, and I think that little you like the side of your sofa, you have that little rack with like magazines and stuff in. I put that in the living room. Um at the side of one of the sofas i think that's all i used from that oh and the bed the toddler bed is eco i think is that the only thing i use from eco i think the toddler bed is the only thing from eco that i use so it would be easily switched out this bedroom is a vampire alien hybrid i went more with the alien kind of theme for this room because obviously the downstairs room is heavy on the vampire well not really alien but like space you know like the, i put the paintings as space and stuff um, yeah, so we do miss the alien bedroom, but I'll show you that in the walkthrough in a bit. So we've got parenthood counters. Yes, yeah, so I use the parenthood counters. I knew I use it. So this game is heavy on vampires and spellcaster, and it does use the parenthood in the kitchen, but obviously you can change that out if it doesn't suit you, or you know, you can just revamp the whole thing and do the fixed rubber version, whatever you prefer. Um, this build is in the gallery, and the fixed rubber is already in the gallery. I put them in the same time so Maria could um, use them because they were for her. I didn't want to have her waiting. And I have a couple more build requests. I'm doing a rose and yellow generation for a adult and a toddler for my friend Heidi. And um, another lady whose name I can't quite remember, it was on a comment on my Facebook post, which I'll have to flick through and find. I did screenshot the message so I'd be able to find it easily. Um, she asked me to do a build. I'm pretty sure it was Island Living. I don't have that pack, but I was like, hey, I can do a build. You just have to tweak it slightly. And I think it was for a vampire parent with a mermaid toddler. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do have the messages here, so I'll be able to find them easily. So I'll do a house that I think would fit in Sulani. And then obviously, if you're watching, <laughs> you can just chuck it over to there and um, add things in from the what's it called the the pack island living pack you can add things in from the island living pack but i'll make it as islandy as possible for you um so i did use a few bits from eco but not much just again the bed and i think that light was the flooring guys the flooring i was i think at this point i was like do you know what i've already used one thing from eco i might as well use a bit more so we've got it down guys upstairs spellcaster room obviously run with magic downstairs vampire uses vampires Everything everywhere else does use base game, kitchen and living room use parenthood, flooring, eco. So there is a few packs used in this one, um, but again, it was a build request. If you check out my gallery, I do have quite a few of the um, base game only builds or just base game on one of the pack. If you want me to do a certain pack, but you're not bothered what I build, please let me know. And if I've got the pack, I'll do it. You know, base game plus one other means more people can use it. Um, and of course, I'll still keep doing a base game build. I'm trying to do a base game build every other day. Um, just the past couple of builds I've been doing have been build requests, so I haven't just made them base game. They have been a few different packs, and I'll try and get them posted early. But I'm still good. Got a few. I'm still doing base game builds that I'm just not finished with yet. I've got. No, I've got a whip or work in progress that I'm working on that was supposed to be base game, but the windows I needed were in the. Um, pack's called snowy escape and he did the windows from that so it ended up not being base game it's base game snowy in seasons and i'm working on another one that is so far base game it's working out well for base game i don't seem to need anything specific for the build um from the picture so it's it's going quite well with base game at the moment and i'm trying to keep it that way again like i know a lot of people don't like just having base game builds and i understand obviously if you only have like if you have a bunch of packs you want to use the other packs and you can always throw those things in but i also know there's a lot of people that don't have all the packs or don't have any packs at all um so that's why i like to do base game just so that everyone could be included um and i really like how this changing topics here i really like the um parenthood counters like the stuff for the kitchen i just love all the different color swatches that comes with it especially the light blue and the green as well, like the mint green, I like that one. Um, now, when it came to playtesting this build, I realized that those cups 
um, they don't stay clean. So you'll either have to get you seem to wash them or just drag them over to the sink. And if anybody knows where you can get glasses that don't start going mouldy and cups that go mouldy, please let me know. Because I didn't realise this because I, I, I very rarely play. But I was play testing the build and I was like, oh, I'll have a bit of fun with it. And everything started like going off and I was like, oh, no, because I put these in like all of my builds. Or well, nearly all, I put a few glasses in anyway, but I went overboard with this one and I just didn't know that they weren't bad. I just thought it was an empty cup and that it'd be fine. So, um, yeah, if you do play with this build, you're going to have to throw those cups over the sink. Unless you're playing with a family that like like dirty, smelly, rotten apartments. Um, I suppose for a fixer upper it would go well. I should have put more glasses and cups in the fixer upper because obviously if you're living in a rundown apartment, it's going to have some mouldy plates and cups. Um, so for the living room, that's that little side thing goes on about, that little, that you put your magazines and stuff in. I was trying to find a nice colour for it. I tried to stick with the blues um, for this area just so it all ties in. And I also realised the shelf that has the TV on facing this, you can't see at the moment. I did it too high, so I do go back and make it a bit lower. And I say, guys, get in this shelf. This shelf was fiddly. Usually I get these shelves, like, stuff on really easily. But I think because I had the vase, the vase, the vase, how do you pronounce it, and the books, like, clipped to the shelf, it was just so difficult trying to get everything in because usually I'd, like, slot one thing, like, you know, how I'm doing the pictures, and then I'd, like, yep, that looks okay and have an idea of where everything else needed to be. So you can just see the alien room just there with the purples in it. You'll see me do the walkthrough in a bit. Um, I was so gutted that I didn't record that part. Uh, so I basically missed the alien um, bedroom and the bathroom. But I made the, the alien room, even as an adult, I made it kind of childish. Because I kind of figured, like, if you're an alien and you've come to Earth and you're experiencing everything, if it's not like, you know, an, an alien who's very techy, they were like, ooh, what's this? And ooh, what's that? that? And like, you know, everything's new to them. Like if you, you didn't know anything and you just come into arriving on Earth and everything was new. So I thought the alien sim may be a bit childish. Or not childish, but like learning stuff, you know? Everything's new to them, so everything looks cool. So I thought that would be nice. And I thought it would be nice to have like a room that kind of reminds them of home. So like I tried to go with the colours you'd find in a solar system without going overboard. So like dark colours, like blacks and purples and blues. And I had those lights, so I just thought it'd be nice. So this is the upstairs and the door did go uh, disappear. So if that's gone on the gallery, just throw it on there if it's on your fixer upper. I was going to put a bath and a shower in there. It just didn't work. And there is two rooms downstairs that have baths and showers. So I figured that was plenty. So it's two and a half bathrooms up here. Um, and I think I didn't throw clutter in until the end after I did the bedroom of the podcast, so maybe I did. I thought I didn't, but it looks like I did. So I threw some plants around the toilet. Um, I do this quite a lot. It just kind of fills up space, makes them look a bit more lived in. Um, I usually want to put like a mirror above the sink because like in every house I've ever lived in, the bathroom mirror has been above the sink. But I also like thinking that you can wash your hands without whilst looking out a window. The same for the kitchens. So I have this one I put on the wall. And I think the past few ones I've been putting on the wall to the side. It really depends how your build goes. So it took me a while to kind of figure out the layout of this room. And after putting a few bits in and still not being happy with the layout, I was like, hang on a minute. This is a spellcaster. Like, I'm going to need to use the realm of magic. Like, the person I'm building this pack for, hello, Maria, um, has obviously the realm of magic pack. pack if she's got this build for a spellcaster. So I was like, I need to use spellcaster pack. Spellcaster pack? The realm of magic pack. Um, which you'll see any second now. I'm like, what am I doing? Um. I think it's just about here, yeah, when we mess around with the mirror and I'm like, oh, yeah, realm of magic. Um, so I did like this base game bed. It's one of my favourite beds for like, doing modern builds as well. I just think it looks kind of smart and, um, I don't know, like, bachelorish, if that makes sense. Um, this little room only has one window as well, so I'm kind of good for that, but it's just how it worked with the roof and everything. Um, so here is where I downsized this, um, I think it's a rug or it's like a mural or something for, um, usually I, from what I've seen of like let's plays, usually you have that down and then you have your cauldron, which for some reason I've seen you can make mac and cheese in the cauldron. Is that normal? I mean, I know mac, mac and cheese is life, but in a cauldron. <laughs> um, so I was trying to figure out like what, like kind of greyish paper, I was trying to get an exact grey that matches that wallpaper but it was slightly off um and for some reason that's not two shades of wallpaper it changes as you just saw there 
Um, so I put some pictures in. I put a little bit of clutter on the shelf. I think, do I put a TV on that dresser? I have a feeling I put a little TV on the dresser um, in most rooms. And I did have, I have a, a computer in the aliens bedroom. And then there's gonna be one on the landing outside of this bedroom in the bathroom. There's a gap, so I put like a computer there as well. So there's two computers in this household. Um, I figured obviously the alien's gonna need one because like, you know, ET phone home. Um, I'm not gonna do the voice. I can sort of do the voice who can't, but um, even though nobody knows what I look like, I'm not quite comfortable putting on funny accent for aliens just yet. Maybe one day. Uh, so I threw some pictures on here some cds clear up and that like crystal ball type thing is that what it's called i'm not too sure um as you're probably aware from my videos i don't pay attention to um, the names of things <laughs> i've never have done so oh yeah that's the tv i put up i really like that tv from eco i think it's really really cute um i don't think i've ever seen a tv in real life like that um obviously i know they probably do exist somewhere they're like old-fashioned tvs or whatever um but i think it's really cute so then we go on to the hall. Um, I can't remember what table. I think it was a yeah, a realm of magic table. I'm trying to keep upstairs to the realm of magic theme. I also put on the walls. Um, it's from the um, you know where you got your clutter. Um, you've got like the three, the square with the three like the triangle type dots, and you've got the little clutter thing, and then you've got like that weird something for wall stuff. If you go in there, you get like cork boards and stuff. Um, and there was like I think. I know it comes with base game and it has like little pieces hanging off the bottom. I could have sworn, oh no, maybe I didn't. I didn't. I put the hobby stuff in on the other wall. I put the toddler thing. I could have sworn I put that cork board in there, but I must, that must be a different build. Please ignore me. Um, so I put those in, a few plants, and then we get onto the outside. So um, when I was doing the walkthrough of the dilapidated version, I realized the orange car was floating. So I did have to fix the terrain by lowering it. And I actually think I lost quite a bit of the garden as well that didn't record. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to jump any second. I don't even think I get all the way through putting these um, hedges around the outside when I lost it. Uh, it's about to skip and jump over. I'm literally watching the little red marker show you. So, yep, there we go. Trees are going in, so we lost all the landscaping. Um, but I now do a walkthrough so you can see everything. Um, and if you have made it this far, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. And don't forget to, you know, leave a comment, a like, subscribe. And, and if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell because it will give you a notification um, whenever I upload. Um, and keep your eye out. I, I know I've been saying for days I'm going to do another, like, competition giveaway soon. I am. I'm just trying to think of a really good one. Um, also, I know at the moment um, Kate Emerald is doing, like, a jigsaw one. And it's quite a big one. I'm giving that a go. And I figured, you know, whoever's subscribed to me is most likely going to be subscribed to her. So obviously, if everyone's focusing on that at the moment, I figured give everyone a bit of time to get that done um, while I figure out a really good um, shell challenge for you guys. I'm not quite sure what to do. If anybody has any ideas on what I should do for a shell challenge for you guys, please let me know. Um, and please don't make it too difficult because it's, so I want to take part in the shell challenge too. Obviously, I can't win. But whatever shell challenge I do for that video, I'll actually do it myself as well. So you kind of see. Um, I'll go through the rules of it and stuff on there. Like if anyone wants something specific. And I'm thinking, like, what do you guys think to a base game only shell challenge? So it completely evens the playing field for everybody. Because you can do some amazing things with base game. Um, but yeah, so that was the alien bedroom, so I just talked through the whole of that, but never mind. Um, the bathroom, the bath disappeared when I was um, doing the walkthrough, so I did have to stop. No, I didn't. Before I did the walkthrough, I checked over and it had deleted. I really, really like this living room, guys. I think it's super cute, and I've just realised the vase is missing. Oh no, my vase is gone, my poor vase. Okay, never mind, but at least that's the only thing missing, that and the candles from downstairs. I can live with that, guys. But yeah, I really, really liked how this one turned out. I think it looks kind of cosy, lived in. I probably should have put a bit more clutter in the hallway, but I didn't want the Sims to not be able to walk around. And um, so we have the little computer area, the bathroom with the little plants. Maybe I could put something with the toilet, but oh well, never mind. Um, and then you come back into the hall and into the spellcaster's bedroom. And again, I can't get over that little TV. I think this room is my favourite room of the house because it looks like sophisticated, modern, 
but witchy at the same time. I do like this build, um, especially this room. I like this room. I love the build too. And then guys, when we get onto the back garden, um, my favourite bit I think is the gravestones. Um, I went a bit too far there because I put roses individually on each one. So I'll zoom in on that in a moment so you can see. But it's the outside area, the landscape where I made like a little hill at the side and I flattened down that pathway so the car wasn't floating. Uh, we've got a little gate to go through. And then guys, can you see the roses? I do zoom in a bit more so you can see. But I individually placed each of those little roses and I just thought that was a really cute touch and um, just because when you go to like you know graveyards to visit family or you know you passing through you know to anyone who likes hanging around in graveyards there's always flowers on some so I just thought that was a really nice touch to add yeah thank you so much for watching and these are just the pictures now so please enjoy